video we're going to talk about something that's pretty important called sketch relations. All right, so we're going to open a new part, select the front, left click, and let's create our sketch plane. We know it's a sketch plane because we see this over here. And if you don't have this up, why don't you go ahead and hit your spacebar? That brings it up. Very valuable tool as you'll see later on. And why don't we go for um, a three-point arc, okay? So I'm going to single select. If you see the red circles, you'll notice that you're going to make uh, three selections. So selection one is one of the endpoints. Now you drag it out and you can see the marching ants as some call it so you know that the next point is going to be the end of this arc so that's a left click and now you're going to drag the radius right now I'm not holding down the left mouse button and once I do that's going to make our selection so I'm going to go ahead and left click and this is our um, This is our arc. So over here, we're gonna we're gonna s toss a point on this. Left click the point icon, and as you can see, the yellow that y little yellow icon here represents the midpoint of the arc. So that's exactly where we want it. So we're gonna left click there, click OK, and let's get some reference geometry. Uh, no, actually, we're gonna hit Escape, hit Escape. And so what I want is this arc to, I want the center of this arc to be lined up with the origin. So there's a number of ways to do it. We can do it using two dimensions. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do it. We can take this dimension and call it four. That shrinks it down. So we know half of four is two. So then we can left click on those guys, make it two, and voila, we are at the center point. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to hit control Z, undo, 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 undo. Okay. What we want to show you is relationships. Okay. So I want to give this guy, I'm going to left click on him, hold down the control button, and left click on this guy. Now over here gives us the three potential options we have. I can give it a horizontal relationship and what, what that will do is bring this down and make it horizontal this way. Don't want that. The vertical, it's going to say I want to be here and vertical relationship will, will jog this, excuse me, jog it over that's the one we want. If we choose coincident, you can see by the icon it snaps somewhere along a point. Uh, a point along uh, another piece of geometry which in this point is a reference point. Uh, we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and say make this guy vertical. Now this little icon down here um, it's an industry standard. X is in this direction and it's always red in most parametric programs like Maya, um, Mudbox, all of those uh, uh, 3D Max you're gonna see X is in the red, Y is always green and Z coming right at us is blue. So we wanna know that it's gonna line up in the y direction so of course we want vertical okay bingo now let's say we want to just test it and say here's a piece of reference geometry and of course what does it do it goes from here directly to here uh, so everybody's happy All right. so we're gonna hit uh, control Z to get rid of that and let's do it one more time left click on this hold your control button down, left click on something you want to add the relationship to. We have three options. 
we want to give it a, a vertical relationship left click vertical and you're gonna see that that information these are my two left clicks and this is my relationship okay hope you enjoyed that one and this is really a pretty important part of drawing and parametrics because you're gonna give quite a few things relationships and then you're gonna delete them and then you're gonna add them so I hope you enjoyed this one